I drink wine because I'm considering starting a cork project. So far, I have 152 of them. So I should be able to make a small, unnecessary side table soon. <laughs> Sell it on Etsy, right? I'm a hoarder. In my garage, I have like 52 boxes labeled memories, 45 small clothes may fit someday. <laughs> I know there's like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Uh, and uh, 75 boxes to go through have to sell. So I need to have a garage sale, right? But I live around a lot of really young millennials, so I have to market it to them. So I'm just going to sprinkle glitter on everything and call it a unicorn rummage sale. Is anybody else concerned about the large desire for humans to be unicorns lately? Right? It's like unicorn everything, like cupcakes, eyeshadow, poop. I bought my son unicorn droppings at the Pasadena Children's Museum. I mean, right? Here's the thing about unicorns. I think we've been telling children they can be whatever they want to be, OK? Um, so why be a doctor when you can go to Burning Man and dress in white spandex and put a horn on your head and sell glitter feces? <laughs> you can be whatever you want to be, but within reason. That's why I'm an OK actress, semi-decent comedian, and sober mother. <laughs> but only when he's up, I have cork tables to make people. I'm not going to make themselves. Uh. Have you ever wondered if rats and pigeons in animated movies are tired of being typecast as New Yorkers? <laughs> I mean, some of them probably grew up in Seattle, right? Um, I like to go to uh, sporting events so I can do the wave. Because if I put both my arms way up in the air at the same time, my boobs somewhat resemble what they looked like 10 years ago. <laughs> Who needs a breast lift when you have baseball? <laughs> right, oh gosh. Um, my husband says I have a hard time letting go of my past. He uttered those words on a cold November day in 2009. <laughs> if a man ever accuses you of not being able to let go of your past, just bring up his sports team's greatest defeat. <laughs> or the 1997 trophy that's on his childhood desk that says, runner up. <laughs> we were almost state champs, it was a bad call. Oh, yes. Um, I went to take my son to the doctors to get his vaccinations. You're welcome. <laughs> and upon exiting the building, he said, that was so much fun. Which leaves me to believe that vaccines cause sarcasm. <laughs> I'm Catholic. My husband's Jewish, and when I first met his mother, she said to me with tears in her eyes, if my grandchildren aren't Jewish, it's like Hitler won. <laughs> so that's been a lot of fun. Right? <laughs> she has nothing to worry about. He's Jewish. Uh, because I had a hard time finding Hitler won decorations at Party City. <laughs> Plus, they just all end up in a box labeled memories, and you can't have that, right? <laughs> Too much clutter. Uh, um, I went to stop my son from standing on the toilet because he could fall and hurt himself. But then I remember Doc Brown from Back to the Future got his idea for the flux capacitor by standing on the toilet and falling off. So a few stitches later, and I believe he has made time travel possible. You guys, I write that joke three months from now and it kills. All right, I'm Megan Gamble. Thank you.